I wanted to check out this tournament and probably play some games after. We'll see. Big chilling, enjoying the afternoon, watching some of this tournament. This is a dope tournament. It is so good. Ninja Killer versus Gert. Ninja Killer is a beast. We saw him play Bio earlier, looking like a monster. But one thing about him is that he makes a lot. That was sick. One thing about him is he makes really good reads about when his opponent's going to duck. Sorry, when he's going to throw and he goes for the ducks. I need some more coffee. Back throw because you get pressure off of it. Yeah. Ooh, sometimes you can combo off that trade forward three. So he tried with standing one, but he couldn't get it in time. Yeah. Not a counter hit or a punish. Jump splash. Yeah. Wow, I thought he got out of range, actually. But he just committed to the whole string. Back 2-2 two, two dash punch. Looks for the back 2-2 two, two again. The thing is, is, like, if you know she wants that for chip, you have to be careful because, you know, a raw dash punch is one thing. But back 2-2, two, two, you have to try to get, a, get uh, what's it called? Away from it, space it out, and whiff punish it. 1-1, one, one, second hit connected. I wonder what Ninja Killer tried. Maybe just, like, try to unblock or something. Yeah, nice. You can't let, you know, a character like Garrus or any character with a, uh, any, even if they have a six frame down one, it doesn't matter. You can't let them do down one into like whatever their mid is on block. There's a way, way, way big gap there. You can't just let it happen. Goes for the leg. It's 50 50 whether she's going to go for the leg or the arm break. That's probably one of the biggest things about this variation that makes it so good, especially at high level when a lot of people throw tech very well. Being able to break a throw and then go for that is so good. Wow, that was a sick anti-air combo too. Standing one into the 4-2-2. Two, two. Have I seen these matches already? No, not all of them. Man, that was a beatdown. He's so good. It's crazy, man. When you watch him play, you're like, this This guy's an animal. Like, his game, his understanding and game sense are fantastic. Does MK have their own dude doing all the stick clip, sick clips for Twitter, like Capcom Fighters and Tekken? Probably. That was a great duck, by the way. I imagine they have to have someone. Because there's all the, you know, there's a ton of clips from the tournament on Twitter. That's what I saw a lot of. I didn't get to see the whole thing live because I think this was happening when I was out of town. Or I was streaming that day or something. There was something going on that overlapped with it where I was not watching it when it was going on live. You know, also, uh, one thing that you see quite a bit is that, uh, what's his name? Hi Fight has done some of the Capcom Fighters clipping for events in Asia and stuff. Maybe it was the Army event, yeah. Who put Ninja Killer and Losers? I don't know. I didn't get to see the bracket. Down three, walk back, stagger. His um, his choice not to go for the mid that's plus after is interesting because I think he figured Gur would flawless block. What up, Christian? I hope you guys are all doing well. This tournament was great. I don't know when the West Coast version of this tournament is, but I can't wait. Still living. 50-50. Nice. Damn, and he did walk up back throw. I thought he was going to do like forward three and a grease kick to try to chip or something, but he just was like, yeah, I'm confident I can take this positioning. Yeah, flawless block. We've seen that a lot. Him getting hit by the second hit trying to flawless block that. Finishes the string. I think he tr probably tried to flawless block again. Damn, that's a big punish. Standing four. Up blast. Get the clinch after and also get Sir Enemies Twitch Prime. Thanks very much for the two months. Hey, everybody. Thanks for dropping your Twitch Primes in the chat. Oh, no. I think he's dead. Jesus Christ. He's definitely fuzzing. I don't know. It seems his block percentage has been pretty high. I thought it hits on the same frame, the mix-up. I'm not sure, but I am sure that Twitch Prime from Rayan X. Thanks very much for dropping that. It's very, very nice of you. Almost back to 500 subs. Appreciate it. Hopefully, you guys come through for the tournament this weekend. I might do a giveaway. I know that there is a giveaway involved with the tournament. I don't know if it's only for people in the tournament or if it's also for people in the chat, but I might do a side giveaway for the tournament. 
The tournament is this is from MK Online East. It hits on the same frame, uh, frame, correct? I thought so. The one-one mix-up. So I don't know if you can fuzzy it, dude. His staggers with four three are crazy. As crazy as K Matt. Thanks very much for coming through. It was good. He got sent to losers by the Sub Zero player that just lost to Sonic. Okay. So he switches to uh, Baraka. Baraka is a really solid character. I feel like everybody has a Baraka too. You know what I mean? One one two. Yeah, his back four is very good. Dangerous thing about playing against a character like this, though, is especially, I was just going to say, doing 1 1 2 is flawless blockable. So that shit is a little scary to poke at. It's just like it's a little scary to think all these lovely people dropping the Twitch Primes. Thanks very much, I'm going to be, for dropping that. It's very kind of you. I uh, went for the empty jump throw. He did flawless block, but he had no meter for the up three, I think. Boom. Escape failed is big against Baraka because both of his throws can crushing blow. Damn, nice stagger. Grease kick for Chip. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're doing an online bracket for Smash that gets you qualified for Evo. I heard about that. That's pretty cool. This is for points for the tour. Yeah. Standing one anti-air. A little too far for that forward three. Might have had the walk up first. Gutted? No, just goes for chop chop. Ninja Killer was not at Combo Breaker, I don't believe. But I think Sonic was saying, like, hey, Ninja Killer, I'll send you to CEO if you want to go. Damn. I think that that was a clean scout on the um, the roll. But he didn't get the punish he wanted. Jump kick, back throw. Oh, is that Buffalo? That's hilarious. That makes sense. Buffalo is a beast, so I was wondering why he was in top eight. I was like, damn, this guy's a monster. Fatal Blow is available. Yeah, beats the breakaway. That's a good call out. Fatal Blows will be breakaways. We talked about this before, how useful they are. Damn, it's going to be close. Last hit. And now Chip's a big... Oh, my fucking... Well, sometimes you just dash up and do dash punch. That was crazy. Calls out the fate or calls out the breakaway with the fatal blow. Damn, that sucks. What did he try? It looked like fireball. Yeah, that was a good read. That's definitely smoked right there. <laughs> David. 